Hi everybody, my name is Marius and today I'll be doing a very quick uh, video on how to undo remove SNMP settings on HP router. Um, the reason for the video is very simple, I've seen a couple of mails float around recently around customers trying to remove some lines of code. Um, and the reason for that I believe is the following, you know, we in very much, uh, I'll be uh, discussing this for some time now, is um, we're very much into a copy paste environment these days. So typically what we'll typically start off with is somewhere along the line we'll pick up some type of configuration of the internet, whatever the case may be, um, other routers and so forth. And typically what the customer or a, a user will do a, 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 from a configuration point of view is look at what they want to do here and say, okay, yeah, I need to write at the moment, I need read, of course, private and public, uh, SMB agent version 3 at the moment, SMB agent use, so I'll create a user call uh, for V3 called user V3, uh, doing network administration. And what they would do is, um, they would then go and actually copy this into an actual device. All right, so um, as you can see, I've got a very quick router running over here. And if you just very quickly look at this, display this, um, you'll see I've set up no SNMP yet. Okay, so this is good. This is what they come out with, you know, by default. Uh, I'm working on the VSR at the moment. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to explain all these configuration lines. This is more just a case of showing you how to undo. Okay, so this is what typically happens. They would copy and paste it in, and if you do a display this now, and guess, Bob's your uncle, they've got some configuration. Okay, what I see very often happening now is when somebody wants to change the version, because typically sometimes you'd have something that needs to do, let's say, version 2. Um, so the common way of doing this, if you actually take this, and you just change it to version 2, and if you do a display this, you'll see that you've got version 2 and version 3 now. Um, this is one way to configure routers, yep. um, and it's great if you have it and it's working and you don't really care about what's happening inside the system. Okay, but it could be dangerous if you want to start removing or changing some of these settings. Now some customers turn around and say, okay, well, we've now added some stuff here. So let's say we have a SNMP agent and we want to say a new name, a new, let's say that's going to be new right, new WR. Yep, okay, so that's created there and so say display this. What we've got now is we've got new WR for right and we've got private. And they say, okay, but now we have to undo this. So the common way of doing this that I've seen is people will do the following. They say, well, I want to remove this one. So I'll put it in there and I'll say, just go and say undo. Yeah. So they say undo that over there. Boom. First error. Okay. Too many parameters. Now that's the next step that they'll do is they'll say, well, let's remove the parameters and say, well, there's nothing else there. Okay. Oh, accept it. That should be gone now. But in theory, if you think about it, what we should have removed now is both rights. Yep. You happy with that? So this poses a bit of a challenge. Simply because if you think about it, if you actually, now we're on CLI. So yeah, we're working on CLI. But what if you actually had an SNMP agent that was busy doing the writing here? That would lose connectivity because the very next line then would actually then be the case there's no rights, whatever. Right, but luckily for that, to make sure that this doesn't happen, the engineers actually thought about this, R&D engineers. And what they said was, well, you can't remove it by the word right. Okay, you can't remove all rights to this. So the way you have to remove it, right, is not with the word right, but you actually have to use a keyword private. Okay. Once you do this, okay, and you do a display this, you'll see that it's now only new WR that's available. Okay, so this is what I, I see people get stuck with because what they typically would do is they would take this and say, okay, I want to make some changes to this, yeah? And they'd say, okay, control, copy it. But some people would do this, boom. Okay, right click to copy. Anyway, if you're copying a lot of information, be careful of that there. But sorry, I just have to get back to my notepad again. Uh, so some engineers would basically start off with a blank page. They want to edit this and they'll start off by saying, okay, well, I've got the old, I'm going to create the new, and oh my word, I keep on doing that. Um, that's it there, and we say control V, that's what we want to put in there. Okay, that's that's the new configuration. Let's just add this a couple of times, and they'll create a new one. And they say, okay, how do we edit this? Well, I want my SMB agent to be there. Remove that, okay, so I'm not going to copy anything about that. Uh, my local engine ID will stay the same, not going to change that. Okay, so maybe I want to make some changes to this one. I'm going to make some changes to this. I might make some changes to this guy here and some changes over here. 
So this is what a lot of people would do. A lot of engineers, they would say, well, undo. We know this is not going to work, yeah? And they would say, undo. And they would say, well, I don't want to run this anymore. They would say, well, oh, okay, undo over here. Undo. And they would say, well, yeah, maybe you want to go and undo this one as well. And then they would say, well, I want to create new configuration. And my new SNP agent community right will then be, let's say, another WR8. Uh, number, number new, sorry, let me just call it something else. So there, control copy. They would put this in here. I'm going to say control V. Guys, what I'm trying to drive towards is if you try and push this into the configuration, okay, by copying this and pasting it, you know what's going to happen. That's not going to work. Okay, so there. You know, so the whole thing starts to fail because you end up with all versions of SME World continued now, you know, and if you do a display this, uh, you'll see that is still there. And it becomes a bit of a messy affair. Please, because this has got a direct impact on management systems working with the router, which could change configurations, the copy and paste from Notepad is not necessarily the best thing to do. Okay, so I really want to implore that you think about this. Go line by line and decide what you want to change. I've also seen this where people do the following. They say, undo SNMP, hoping to now get rid of some of this. SNMP agent, boom, and they do a display this. Hey, and everything's gone. And they go, yeah, got rid of it. And the very next thing they do is they say, SNMP agent, boom, and they say, display this. Guess what? That's all back again, all the configurations. Okay, so the only way to get rid of all the configurations if there's too much of it and you decide okay i want to start from scratch i wouldn't necessarily suggest this okay the only way to get rid of it is to do an actual undo snmp agent all right and then you say save this information save this configuration i'm going to force the configuration save right and you then basically reboot the system okay why i say you wouldn't necessarily want to do this because let's say you used a keyword called public, all right, and public is compromised. It's one thing to go to one router and force it out like this, you know, start with a new configuration. Okay, I'm talking about SNMP configuration. You don't have to reboot everything, uh, uh, sorry, uh, reload everything else. Okay, what we are doing is we're rebooting with a new configuration, excluding SNMP. Well, why I wouldn't want to do that is if the word public has been compromised, you know, then most probably all your routers are compromised and you can't reboot all your routers. Okay, so in a lab environment, this works really good, but in real life, okay, this will never fly. Okay, so if we check this now and you do display this, there'll be nothing because we disabled SNMP and I say SNMP agent enter and you display this and what do we have? We have the basic configuration of SNMP. Okay, so it's very important for you to understand how to remove um, as I said before, there's multiple ways of removing. Check out the local systems, basically. Go through the configuration commands one by one. This is not one of those things you want to do as a copy and paste. Okay, that's just my advice to you. And if you do start to undo, um, you know, like your SNMP agent community, know the fact that you can't you necessarily use the keyword right. Because if you had four or five different rights in there, one for your management system, one for your local user, and so forth, right, what would basically happen is if you remove all the rights at the same time, and you're working on an SNMP agent, right, or system, you basically lose connectivity for the very next line. It's like the old uh, idea about the access list, you know, deny any at the end, and you only permit the first line, which doesn't include Telnet, guess what happens? You lose connectivity, same thing over here. So the undo command pretty much does not include the word write, and it actually talks about the actual specific word, if you want to remove. Okay, so it's one thing to copy or paste into the router. If you have a standard configuration, very happy with that. It's something else to try and copy and paste out of or clean up configuration with SNMP with an actual notepad. That small quick video just to show you basically how to do this. Um, I hope you find it helpful. And um, yeah, hope to see you soon in some uh, future videos.